I'm going to beat my <laughs> meat to yoga. <laughs> Living la vida loca. This was sponsored by Texas Roadhouse. Look at that right there. This is after Texas Roadhouse. We can keep it going. We'll keep, we'll keep it going. This is the intro of the podcast. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. Welcome this back. is Bubble Bubble Butter That Bread Podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in week in and week out. This week we actually got the uh, last week you got the uh, YouTube video up for it. Twenty views in three days. Thank you guys so much for that. We really That's appreciate that. Yeah, I was surprised and shocked by that. Honestly, they really enjoyed the the braces episode. You guys actually have not seen me without braces, so here it is. He's gonna pan in. Make sure you pan in on your face. Yeah. Oh my fucking neck. Yeah, I'm gonna like literally zoom in on myself. So gonna zoom hard. In. You can zoom in on that. Yeah, rolls. this episode is sponsored by Texas Roadhouse. If you guys want the the best butter and bread combination, go to Texas Roadhouse or Brock the Mass. You get twenty percent off your first purchase. Uh, use code Butter That Bread. Yep. Um, please go and try and do that. It will not work. They'll be like, "Are you okay? Are you on cocaine?" <laughs> um, we actually went tonight. It was um, my brother, me, Tom, Tyler, and Hunter. Not there. Five of us sitting there. Enjoying our evening. I got a burger. Uh, Kyle got country fried dick chicken. Yeah, but it's had a come. I mean, uh, cream gravy. Oh my god. Um, and thank you guys for listening again. Um, you guys can find us on Instagram, the YouTube's Butter That Bread underscore Podcast. Uh, you can text us if you want again right here. We should make a text thing, like an automated, like an automated text thing, so like people will text us. <laughs> He thinks he's a fucking comedian, huh? That was pretty funny. That was not funny. Why don't you go to a funeral and tell a joke like that? Ha, ha, ha. See who laughs. No one, you'll get the shit beat out of you in the middle of the, the parking lot as someone's grandmother has passed away. That's terrible. Way to fucking put a damper in the room, huh? Maybe could he be, be his grandmother soon? You don't know. Yeah, it could be. Could be could be literally one of us soon. Really? Yeah, it could be one of me or me or Andrew soon. Yeah, it could be you too. My potato heart could just fail. Yeah, you don't know. What do you want your eulogy? Doesn't matter. One of you two have to figure oh, it man, out. We're gonna play. Or Hunter. We're gonna play that song. It's <laughs> eulogy. We're giving uh, the eulogy. Living the <laughs> yeah, it's the last time we heard it, Tom. You just fucking kick I'll, the can. I'll put this on your uh, there we casket. Go. Yeah. I like that. Unless you want to be cremated, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I'm not a big fan. I don't want to be in a box full of ash. I don't want to be a box I'm not of ashes and then burnt. someone throws it. You're gonna yeah. be dead. Yeah, but I don't know. Something about it. Take some popcorn kernels before you die, and then just That's when they terrible. cremate you, just popcorn. Oh, That's free terrible. food! Yes. It's, kind of, it's kind of fucked up, but it's kind of funny. I'm sorry. It's really funny. I've seen stuff like that on Twitter. Twitter is the most fucked up place I think you'll ever. You found people getting cremated? No, people on like, like no, they like do like tweets like that. If I want to get cremated, I want to have popcorn kernels in my stomach. So when uh, I get cremated, they just start popping. That's terrible. There's a lot of fucked up. I don't know how they get like people get away with stuff like that on Twitter. Like really fucked up stuff. Like Jamal Murray was getting his wiener blown by some girl on Twitter, and like it was funny because she tweeted. She was like, "Please don't send, don't please don't send the video." And people were like commenting the video over and over on her post. Oh my That's god! Terrible. If you saw that video, Tom, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Why would you watch that video, Andrew? Dude, you okay? It was a fucking. Oh, oh the girl is. Kyle, you watched it too? The girl is really attractive, but like, when well, like you I see on, on you see no, he yeah, he was watching it multiple times. Really? Just, yeah. Is that what he had the water based lube for? Yeah. What was it? Hashtag like lube life. Lube. lube yeah, if you guys want to go, uh, lubelife dot com slash Kyle Hebert, twenty percent off your first purchase. Kyle Hebert. Yeah. Kyle underscore Hebert. Yeah, twenty percent off, off your first purchase, and you guys to get five dollars off a monthly subscription box. Yep. Um, they literally they literally send you a gallon of lube <laughs> every month. That's that's a little much, Andrew. <laughs> we'll say quart. A quart container. Yeah. Like a sixteen fluid ounce of bottle or something. Yeah. I w- I'm sorry, but I'm not paying five bucks a month for a six. Fl- I want to pay a gallon. <laughs> God. God. They just see the the guy. That's- so wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So does that mean like you get recommendations now of like different lubes? Oh my God. Oh my God. This one just called the poop shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why would you do? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. You're gonna order online. Are you gonna go to fucking? Is your mic on, by the way? Yeah, it's on. The, the thing's on, flicked on? Yeah. Okay. Go freaking, uh, You're not going to go to Video Extra, let's be honest. It's no. awkward in there. You walk in there. 
and there's just old guys in the in the in the preview booths just cranking and they oh, come out yeah, and you're like, dude, yeah. I feel I felt I had to go home and change my clothes immediately when I went in there. Yeah, but if like Amazon, dude, you're just getting like like I said, you're getting all the recommendations. Like for it's all unfortunate. That. Like the people that are bossing it up know what you're getting. This nasty fuck at home, Kyle Heaver is getting this shit. Like, unless you like open your fucking phone in front of your coworkers or something, like you're pretty much just. Killing They're like, oh yeah, let me look up on Amazon. Yeah, let me watch you look it up on Amazon. You'd be like, yeah, yeah recommended. Yeah, it's like, it'd be like if like someone would. Like, it's like it's either like when like maybe maybe like Tom and I are like Tom's over the house and like I'm looking something up on Amazon and I use your account and then the first thing that pops up is lube. Yeah, he's gonna order all of it on your account. Yeah, at least it's Prime delivery, right? Yeah. I've used it like once. Like I've had you like purchase something for me and then I bought. I gave you the money for it. Oh, yeah, it so I'm stupid. I don't know. I'm probably like a baby. No, it was the Babies thing. are popular now on Amazon, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you can Two buy for one. like a dick of like a newborn baby. It's like the Wayfair furniture. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's on Amazon. Yeah, usually when you smack it, you hear a kid scream. <laughs> How much was the couch? Uh, that was like, uh, Way too much. For yeah, so the kids included. So that means the kid was probably hundred bucks, and the couch was probably two hundred. <laughs> you never heard of that. No, I've heard of it. It's oh, like, yeah. like the, the couches were like the bureaus or some shit, whatever it was, but it's like ten grand. Yeah, ten grand. And the names were like very specific to human names and like. It was like in the description, yeah. It's so, it's so fucked up, man. You think that was actually like legitimate? Yeah. 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 It was Wayfair too. It's like shittier Amazon. How would you feel if like you went like on a Wayfair? Your parents are like one day like, "Hey, this seems kind of weird. Uh, they have a couch called Andrew and Kyle." <laughs> And then you God. call you call us and we're not it's like a double not, love seat picking it up yeah for like twelve grand I can't believe that's even like a thing like human trafficking no no somehow I don't fucking break it I've been using it it's Jackson's yeah ja- um, yeah my nephew has a butt plug I'm using it recently um Kyle, you been using that <laughs> is that the call now yeah, Tech it. Decks let me confirm this is it just it is a Tech Deck those of you that are listening it is I promise me it is a Brigade Tech Deck. Um, Steve Cabello, what the fuck? I used to have a lot of those. As a kid, uh, Cabello issue. Yeah. Two thousand one. Wow. 2001? Yeah, that's what it says. This is definitely not made from two thousand one. Like, like. He definitely had yeah. Legos. Yeah. All right. We had Legos and connects. We, I, didn't, I didn't have connects. I like. Oh, I like so that. This is thing like the um. The magnets, right? I had the magnet ones with the little balls, magnet balls. You have the thing where they make the roller coasters out. Yeah. yeah, I did. I love those I things so much. There. Yeah, it would, it would like touch your wiener and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a kid? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. Remember the beginning of Robots? Like, whoa. When like Rodney goes on that weird like ride when he first gets into like, like yes. the city? Yes. Yeah. And they had like a toy like that where it literally had like a ball. Really? Like, oh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Huh. That seems cool. I, I had the Harry Potter world, but I was too little, so I would never finished it. Harry Potter world what? Lego? Like Lego, Lego set, yeah. The castle. Like yeah, they have it. You can get it. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like my Yoda thing was like hundred dollars. That well, Yoda thing he has it forever. Like, like it's like, like, like it took like me a couple days, like, like eight hours. They have like yeah. Castle? yeah, yeah, yeah. They had the cardboard one too um, at Costco. Yeah, the, yeah. the Legos, I would do it, but I think it's too expensive. Legos are really expensive. Up, When's your birthday? April. 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 How would you feel about getting a pit bull cut out, like a life size cut out? <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed. I would not be opposed at all. What? The castle is $400. Oh, no, it's Diagon Alley. $400 for the castle. But I, I had the green one with the green shingle roof. How much roof. is Diagon Alley? 400 $400 for Diagon Alley yeah. to build that? You know how fucking useless that is? $400. Yeah. $400. That's That's c- $100. Like, you really got to be invested in that shit to, like, buy that. I'm sorry. Like, really invested. I'm trying to find the one that had the green tiled roof on it. Yeah, that's what calls it. That's a sex, like sex position. Yeah, is that your suggested on Amazon? Willow? Yeah. <laughs> just a Lou brand Whomping Willow. Oh, God. So, what do I do? Are related to items you've viewed? Hmm? How do I go? How do I choose suggestions? Go to top picks for you? Oh, this the one that I have, technically, um, the one that came out was $468. What is it? There's no way. Where do you see it? Is it on Amazon? I just typed in Harry Potter Lego sets early 2000s and it was the first one on Amazon. So you could you could like resell that. That's the one that. I had. So you could like resell that for 400 bucks on? I don't. It's all messed up. It's not. <laughs> well, like, but, like pieces are just missing. You just yeah. it. 
I don't know. Oh, maybe I didn't get the full set then of Harry, the Harry Potter thing. <laughs> you just got like the $10 version? I don't know. It must have been like, I think it was that set. The one, that's the one I got. That was a hundred fucking dollars. Early two thousands, yeah. You fucking serious? They have the great hall. For a hundred fucking dollars, you got that. Forty-five dollars. If I had, if I had the money, I would get the full Harry Potter set. Oh, is that with this one, the green one? I think so. Yeah, it's fucking just discontinued by manufacturer. Do you yeah. not have that one? Oh, yeah, Quidditch. That looks kind of fire. Ooh, that does look good. I was just sitting here, 22 years old, talking about Legos. Like, do you, building a Lego set? Come on. Like, Why don't you do yeah. build, build, a, build a girlfriend? How about that? Let's go to build a bearing, build you guys a girlfriend. How about that? No. Yeah. Come on. Sorry, I'd rather be doing drugs at this point with you guys. Depends what type of drug you're doing. Like, we pop in, like, uh, we pop in lube, yeah. pop in lube pills. Who is that? That's your girl. Who? If you guys, you guys who's, can't see it's um, oh, no. it's Andrew's girl on oh, Snap. Who the fuck was that? She was like, who is that? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Is that um, you know? Yes, from camp. You can't. From they're camp. Gonna, they're gonna hear that. No, they're not. They don't know who it is. They don't, they don't know who it is. I'm just gonna cut this part out of the episode. No, a waste of no. Because I was just gonna say something like very oh, rude, but I didn't say. Anything. Oh no, don't say that. Is he fucking done? Hey, we're trying to do the podcast here. No, I told him. I told you. Next yeah. time, next time we'll do a podcast. Like, if you wanted, we could do like a like a different location. Like, go to like Chick Fil A or something at Texas Roadhouse and like eat in the parking lot. Or like do like an after food review. Yeah, we could do that. Chick Fil A. Like many, like ep- like many, like very many series. We'll very do, many episodes, we'll do, like uh, ten minute, ten minute yeah. episode. Yeah, we'll do like a uh, a food review. Like, there's like a ton of like we'll just do like our own butter that bird podcast one. Yeah, um, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, comment down below if you guys would like to see that. Do like we'll do food reviews like whenever we go out and stuff like that. We'll bring the uh, the camera, bring the camera crew, and we'll go out. See, what I, what I want is like us have our own separate camera angles, but not on a couch. Like if we're in like in a room, and like say if like there's like a a big ass desk. Obviously, yeah. this would have for a while. This, this, this literally would have to be in a studio, which this is very just dream, dream reality. Oh, like, Kyle if, like, was if out. it was Kyle's room, like we had like yeah. a huge desk in there. Oh, that'd be great. Like you know, have you ever seen a H three H three podcast? No. They have like a huge desk that like people just sit at. It's like almost like a conference room. Oh, okay, like, so it's kind of like, like a hundred thieves kind of. Have you seen the hundred thing? I think thieves so. Podcast? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, something like that. And then we have our own camera angles and shit. And then we have like one big camera angle for the entire room. That'd be yeah. fucking. <laughs> yeah, once Kyle moves out. Yeah. He'll never be moving out. Look at him. He'll literally die in that fucking room. <laughs> He'll have the exact same, like, setup, too, when he's, like, 40. <laughs> Bring girls over. Yeah, this is my room. You know, like, you have your, you have this whole house yourself, but you don't use the the master bedroom? <laughs> nah, I can't do it, man. Can't. I thrive off this room down here. Speaking of um doing filming, I guess next, um my uncle... Was talking to my mom and my grandma, and I guess he wants me to do the uh, filming for their wedding. So I'm gonna have to get some skills from you. The fuck? Yeah, the, the film. The fuck? Why they ask you for that, huh? bro? That's so I don't weird. Know. That's so random. They only have, they're only having a photographer, so they wanted somebody to film the a ceremony. Video, a videographer. Yeah. The to film. You? So I might need your help. How the fuck are you gonna do that? If, they, if you don't, what? What? Are they paying you? No, I'm just doing it for it's my kinda, uncle. That's kind of fucked up. Why? Well, I mean, if you need, so like, I might, I might if, need to if borrow I a still camera. have that camera, yeah, I might the need to borrow it. the wedding. Okay. When's the wedding? Uh, next August, <laughs> I think. You'll have that camera by next August. There's no way in hell. If, yes, they, you if are. they have school in April, he's gonna email me right no. away after they do. Just don't answer it. No, I have to. It's so rude because he like literally like, helped me throughout my career at Tony as a broadcasting student a lot. I would just be like, I don't know who you are. Yeah. yeah. Do that shit, and then the police <laughs> come at the door. Hey, well, uh, they, they wouldn't do that. Hey, well, look, 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 look at the thing that says THS TV. Come on. What are you? you He's fucking, not going to ask for it. He's not going to ask for it back. Fucking scam artist. <laughs> scam artist. Oh, I can borrow your. Um, is that other camera decent? It's, yeah, it's decent, but like, I honestly, to get better quality, yeah. I would use something like an AVD. Yeah. Or anything like a, like a Rebel or something like that. Or I just use my phone. <laughs> are you ready, Tom? Technically, they yeah, can film 4K. <laughs> Technically, they can film 4K. Yeah, but they're gonna they're gonna want like a camera thing going on, dude. 
they have a photographer. I don't know why they don't have a camera person. Oh, video. video. You're, gonna have to, you're not going to be like literally, like, there's no point for you to like, you're not going to be able to enjoy yourself at the wedding. You're just going to be taking video the entire time. Like when they do like, the, the ceremony, care. when they're dancing. No, no, it's just a ceremony. People drinking. It's just a ceremony. I could do it for like a full vlog. But that would kind of funny. Be... I don't know. That's, that's so random. That, yeah, like, they know. asked you. Well, they start planning like, in advance. Like... My uncle asked me to do it. I mean, it's not that hard. Just like, no, make sure you're. No, I don't just, think. No, I don't think he's just, looking at anything that like that serious. I think he was just looking for somebody to, like be there, and make sure it gets recorded. Yeah, just make sure like you're just stable with the camera. Like, yeah, don't be like shaky. I'll just know. bring on a stand or something. I'll yeah, bring a tripod. You know what's really good at uh, an image stabilizer, a gimbal. Yeah, they're like two hundred dollars. Yeah, no, but they're so fucking cool. My buddy um, at UMass, he had one. He was a mechanical engineer. He had the one that like if you can move it and auto rotates the GoPro. Yeah. Dude, those are so sick. Just it's unfortunate they cost so much money though. God, man, if I was made of money, I would buy this world. Did I'm, you see I'd... the new GoPros? The new GoPro that's coming out is really good. Uh, it's supposed to record 8K, maybe. Why do you need 8K? Like, why? What is so I'm important the new about GoPro. it? Well, the only, GoPro only thing I can think of is that people need like they literally use their GoPros to go like surfing, biking. I want to get one. I want to get one. What are you going to use it for? When you Just go to like, bed at night? All right, if we go like on vacation or. We go fishing or go on the boat. Like, that'd be cool to have. You got your own fucking TV show? Yeah. Tommy's fishing boat? Yeah, exactly. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Tommy's tackle. Yeah, uh, Tommy's tackle. Well, it's a Tommy's bait show, but I could do Tommy's tackle. Um, $350. Yo, what the fuck is that on the floor? What is it? That's a, that's a huge ass fucking bug. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? That's a beetle. Where? Is that a cricket? Oh, that's Where? That's a cricket, I think. You see it? Oh, that's a cricket, yeah. Yeah, it's a cricket. It's a cricket. Oh, I'm sorry, 5K. <laughs> no, he's going to do tricks on the skateboard now. <laughs> he's going to do tricks on the skateboard. Too many crickets. They see me rolling. <laughs> That's going to be annoying tonight if we don't catch that before we go to bed. 5K. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. 5K, 20 megapixels. He always 5K, 20 mega- megapixels, all right? And has a double uh, camera lens. I mean, uh, display. One in the front, one in the back. Super smooth, 3.0. I mean, it looks really cool, but like for three hundred and fifty dollars, it's not like worth it. More of like a, um, like a Christmas gift. Yeah, maybe. I want to get a three D printer for Christmas. That'd be fun. No, the three D printers are like two hundred eleven bucks. Oh, really? Yeah, they're not too bad. They used to be expensive. Back when I was in high school, they were eight hundred dollars, but now they're cheap. What are you looking up? So yeah, this is. The the Call Duty. Yeah. Yeah, guys, every episode we're going to talk about COD, so if you don't like it, oh well. No, like Ethan literally hates when we talk about Call of Duty, but. Does he? Th- yeah, he does. He hates I don't know why, but. Th- this is literally just zombies all over it. Harness the power of fire and use the mystical. There he is, there he is. You better catch him now. Salt. We'll get a cup or something. Where is he? For the cricket. Where is he? Or drink the rest of your water and put it in the bottle cap. I'm not putting it in the cap. No, put it in the bottle. Holy fuck! Holy Why? shit, guys! We have experienced. We are welcome to the wild here. There you. Oh, I can't see my address. Hey, welcome here to Tall Massachusetts as we are here uh. catching Jimmy Cricket, my co-star here, Tommy Tech. We are going to experience what it is to capture a real life grasshopper, a cricket. Skin. All right, Andrew. Uh, we're gonna go and capture this cricket. The cricket here. With the bottle cap. Oh, he's spicy. With the bottle. He's spicy here. He's a spicy one. He is. Oh fuck! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you! <laughs> you still blow some of your drum out. You blow some of your drum you out. You motherfucker! Yeah. As you, oh my god, he's he spicy. Jiminy Cricket, that's he's got, he got. He's got a big wicket, huh? That one. He's got a big wicket. <laughs> Jay, he's got a big cricket. Hey, yo, we need you gotta slowly we approach need, it. We need something else. You gotta slowly approach it. Ow. I'm gonna catch him. I'll catch him. No, we need something watch this, else. Watch this. Bigger. It's not gonna work. Watch this. You're just gonna. What are you gonna beat him up? Living a viva longa. Oh, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna get rid of the mic real quick. No, don't don't narrate it. Hold up. I was gonna take the camera off for a second actually and watch you do it. The wild Tommy Tech here approaches the cricket. He's right near the edge of our camera. He is moving at a very slow pace. Tom is trying to avoid the uh Oh he's disappeared underneath the T V stand. Quite an adventure for our cri- oh, he has popped right back out. Now Tom is here. In- now we see Tom, he's approaching the cricket at a very wide angle. He's going in slow, so the cricket does not jump away. He's going to jump right into it. Oh, oh, oh my god, he, he turned. <laughs> he turned. 
<laughs> oh, I don't want to refer to him. Oh, he's, he's gonna. He's gonna um, oh, 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 he's under, underneath the TV stand, mate. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. This is not looking good for our handyman here, Tommy Tom Tech. Oh, we've got to wait. That's bullshit. We've got to wait and see here. It's unfortunate for Tom. He missed it out. Put it away. All right, all right Nigel. All right. Thornberry, that's enough. Back in the closet. <laughs> yeah, you guys better catch that before uh, we go to bed tonight. It's so literally just going to fucking, yeah. <laughs> Hey, no, you do. Yeah, Andrew, you capture the cricket and then you wait for Kyle to go to bed and you release just it. Just release him. it in his room. <laughs> yeah. Like put it on the ground like he doesn't even know. <laughs> just, he's like, oh. Why do we kill it? Bad luck. I thought it was killing spiders. No, bad luck is killing crickets as well. I Oh yeah, what were we saying about the cod? So basically, this zombies? is literally um, all. This is really all about zombies because harness the power and fire and, and use the mystic order. That's Samantha from Origins. All this stuff. Secure the keys. Enter. Explore Zork. This is all zombie stuff. This has to be. There's nothing. There's nothing else you could think of. They already did campaign multiplayer. They got yeah. Zombies. zombies. Yeah. Have you seen? You've seen the leaked pictures, correct? I think you have. Not the leaked pictures, no. But I just saw the. Uh, it looks like literally. Um, it's supposed to be a new map. Beep, beep, boop, boop. I saw it's supposed to be based in Vietnam. Ooh. Vietnam map yeah. with different locations. It's obviously this. These are like. Pre-alpha, if this is even real. This is like pre-alpha. This fucking kid, man. He killed that. He, he, took, he took the microphone and started narrating. I fucking hate that kid. He can literally... He's literally abusing the cat upstairs. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Eternal alpha leaks. Nothing's loading. No, it looks like you're... No, internet's beautiful. Let's do 5G. We're gonna, we're gonna ramp it up here. Reload the page, you motherfucker. I was looking it up because they was they were talking about it on uh, the stream today, and I was like, wait, what? There's actually leaked photos. It's not gonna. I look. didn't see the leaked photos. I've seen the leaked photos. They look. They're also like literally not good leaked photos at all. Like the pictures are literally like the like the the. The quality is like literally looks like it came out of someone's asshole. <laughs> it looks awful. Like the multiplayer when it first got leaked. Yeah, literally, it's like that. Like literally 480p or like 360. It was horrible. Yeah. It wasn't gangsta. It's just pee pee poo poo check. There's a lot. Now the time I know you played only once, but what did you what did you think I'm about it? Comfy. Um. There's no way to get comfy down here, man. It's just all fucking. Uh, it's just the angle. Um. Beep, beep, boop, boop. The COD oh. multiplayer alpha. I feel, like you, I feel like you didn't like it personally because you don't have a keyboard and mouse. The, yeah, I was really ass at it. Um, I thought it was decent. Um, didn't nothing really caught my eye really to be honest with you. The maps I heard from a lot of people are like too big for the amount of players. I heard Miami's really big. All the, the yeah, snow map is big. Honestly, I didn't. The only the the ground war uh, was it Armada? Is that the the snow one? I think so. I didn't mind that. I played it once. I don't. Really, it went by like really quick, actually. Wasn't there a lot of tanks in it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get like, killed by a tank or anything, or snowmobiles, or anything really. That was uh, funny because I remember a couple years ago, me and uh, Hunter used to play um, Call of Duty Three in uh -huh. his basement and like be in the tanks and stuff. And they're like, yeah, they should bring that back. And now they're bringing it back. And they're the ones who made, I think, um, Call of Duty Three. So I found it kind of funny, but I, I think it should be okay. Or maybe they're really, they're talking about Warzone instead of zombies. They don't know because like literally. What do you mean? Oh, like, there's no way they would do Easter eggs like this for Warzone. No way. They did it for the whole game. They literally no just way. did it for, to reveal the game. You don't think they would do that for no. Warzone? No, that's 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 zombies. Guarantee it. Guarantee that zombies gonna introduce the new characters. And it's gonna be that chick, the guy with the soul patch with the eye patch from yeah, Black Ops One. The campaign, dude. And then the two other people, I have no idea. Oh, there goes the water bottle. There it goes. There goes the the WB. Um, still no sign of Jiminy Cricket. Nope. He's got a big wicket apparently. Um, in other news, like a lot of uh, NFL players are getting injured. Yeah, it's pretty Saquon Barkley's done for the year. A lot of Sa 49ers players. Yeah, your your yeah. guy, your guy is injured. High man. ankle sprain. Very disappointing. You're only torn vagina. Oh, come on. Pays so much money and he's just getting injured. Oh, it sounds like Big Ben. 
Yeah, but he's playing right now. He's 2-0. Two, he's two right now. He's 2-0, two baby. 2-0. Oh, you guys played two garbage teams. Like, dumpster fire. The Broncos have a, actually I have a good I can't believe the defense. Broncos, you guys, like, almost lost to them. The Broncos actually have a good defense. They they choked it. They could have won that game easily. Yeah, but the they thing, just the thing is, like, choked it. The, Gi- the Giants had Saquon. The Giants have Saquon Barkley. Danny Dimes did not play that bad. Um, Evan Ingram Offense is line's supposed poop. to be good. Yeah, that's their problem. But, like, the defense. The, the, Steelers, the defense is not. The Steelers' defensive line no. is actually really good. Yeah, I know. The corners are okay. Yeah, it's just. The, if the front. The front line can get to the quarterback before they he throws the ball. You're good, like literally. Yeah, no. they play this week. They're playing Houston. They should probably get a win against Houston. Yeah, they school. should win against yeah. Houston's terrible this no year. No problem. Patriots. Are the Patriots playing. They're playing the. They almost won. They're playing the Raiders. Seahawks game. If Nick Folk made a field goal, we won on the game. But nope. Oh, they didn't miss it. Shanked. That's funny. Then uh, Josh McDaniels is like, yeah, we're gonna run the same like play like three times in a row. Uh huh. So that cost them the game. But they got, um, who do they have this week? I forget who they have this week. They had the Raiders. They're probably going to lose that game. Oh, the Raiders? Too. Nah, uh, Raiders are overrated. They beat the Saints. Yeah, the Saints were playing like poo poo. Yeah, but they're playing good defense. Drew Brees had a noodle arm. Yeah, but they still got, they still got Josh Jacobs, Darren Waller, Derek Carr yeah. slinging it. They're just going to put Gilmore on um, the tight end there. All right, fine. Just gonna shut him down. With Josh Jacobs then. Yeah, and then. J.C. Jackson will just shut him down. No way, dude. Double Josh cover. Jacobs is so good. You just do double coverage with him. Yeah, but Josh Jacobs is going to run the ball. Yeah, you double cover him. You still got some. There's, they, they got a good, a good, a good team going there. Defense is okay. I mean, but the Saints also were without Michael Thomas. But Kamara still had a good game. He had like 33 points, I think. I didn't watch it really. I just watched the highlights. Of course you did. Simp. I had to do stuff. I had to do homework. I was actually watching the game here with uh, Joel and Gavin. How and, was that? Uh, it was good. We went to uh, Harry's. We got buffalo mac and cheese. I had diarrhea the next morning. You got Harry's buffalo mac and cheese. Blew, so expensive. So expensive, but it's always so good. But I blew it up the next morning. <laughs> nice. I was like, oh. It was like me buffalo wild wings. Ugh. I don't understand what the hype is about buffalo wild wings. We went there because the Texas Roadhouse was packed. Like, it's literally for me. You guys should just want the Chick-fil-A. Yeah, no, we should Personally, I do not like Buffalo Wild Wings. Only reason I go is because I go with a group of people. Yeah, I don't go. Like, I just don't. I just don't get. I will look like last time I went, I looked like a Buffalo Mac and Cheese, and the Buffalo Mac and Cheese was cold. It's like frozen. And it came out. I was like, dude, what is this? I was so frustrated that I'm not was, a big fan either. It was just the only thing that was available. I didn't feel like going Chick Fil A because we go to Chick Fil A all the time. Well, you do. I didn't go. I haven't gone like the past two weeks. I feel like the places you go like the most frequently. Not frequently, but you go like you know a couple times a month maybe. Roadhouse, yep. Chick Fil A. I don't know where else you go. Like, what is your fan? What's like the go to family spot besides? Is it Roadhouse? You really haven't gone out to eat much recently. Um, yeah, probably Roadhouse or. Um, we haven't gone to Chili's in a while, or it's really no good local restaurants really. I knew they were supposed to put fucking a Barrett's Ale House in the Olive Garden. What the fuck happened? Yeah, I don't know. Probably asking too much for rent. They probably, probably are. Right. They're probably asking for like a literally like a, a boatload of money. All right, we're at 29. 29 minutes? More. That's not right, bad. Just fucking hot. I'm going to take off my sweat. Yeah, right, take it off. Real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, is that how I was bleeding? No. Just Converse shit. You Converse kind of guy? No, they just um... sell cheap t-shirts. They had, uh, they had a sale. I got like two... Pairs of shoes and two T-shirts for forty bucks or fifty bucks. The fuck? Yeah. It's highway robbery at that point, man. It's cheap. There's like nothing, like just like I don't know what it is. Places like Old Navy just don't really like just pique my interest anymore. Well, maybe I get cheap uh, jeans from there. That's like weird. I was shopping on H uh, and M the other day. They had sweatshirts for twenty five bucks. H and M, you that guy? Yeah, they had, they had fucking sweatshirts for twenty five dollars. So technically, after thirty minutes, I would have to pay for the film to film for longer than thirty minutes or something, or like it's taxes. I don't even know how it works. What? I'd have to. I'd have to show you. I was like, why well, can't like my camera go past thirty minutes? I think I would have to have it connected to like the MacBook or like literally like I'll look it up. Why can't my Canon record?
Why can't I can record past 30 minutes? This this means if your podcast or maybe your talk is longer than 30 minutes, you won't capture anything past the 30-minute mark unless you have a cameraman operating the camera. This is because once a DSLR records past 30 minutes, it is considered a video camera and has higher tax laws. Huh. Never heard of that before. Yeah, yeah, I literally didn't hear about that until like literally like, it started happening. So I was like, this is fucking bullshit. This has no fucking mindset. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. Personally, like if you buy the camera, you should be able to. They want their money. That is a high quality camera. You serious? Yeah, it's a nice camera. So I should be able to record past fucking thirty minutes. I don't know. Fucking what do you want, do you want for free? Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Can we do it again? Fucking bullshit. I think we don't pay for enough fucking shit already as it is for America. I don't want to get political, but I also don't want to ignore it. Oh, fantasy update. What are you, one and one? Yeah, what are you, one and one to? I'm one and one. I'm number two in the league right now. Brennan's number one. If he, I'm sorry, Brennan. If you're watching this podcast, you sent a terrible trade. Terrible trade. Yeah, it was horrible, Brian. Josh Allen and some running back for Kyle Murray and a tight end. My tight end, Henry, who actually like is the number one receiver probably for... Actually, no, Allen is. He's number two. Yeah, Keenan Allen. Right now, so I beat, <laughs> I beat the Jew crew. Poor Gavin, dude. How did he get Lamar Jackson? Did he trade away a lot for him? I think he, he picked him up. He picked him up in the league. There was no way. He literally look at dude. He literally got Lamar Jackson, Miles Sanders. He got this team. Look at his look at his second receiver. It's AJ Green. Drafted him. He drafted he drafted Lamar Jackson in the first. How round. did you get Lamar Jackson though? That's why I drafted him. You drafted him. What do you mean draft him? Yeah. yeah. No no no. He said he, I need a new drafted, quarterback. That's literally what he said. Drafted twenty fifth overall in the third round by the Jew Crew. Then why did he say he needed a quarterback? His, I don't understand his first that. pick was Miles Sanders for sure. Why did he say he wanted a new quarterback? <laughs> I don't He's know. projected to beat me this week. It's because my D Swift is terrible. Yeah, I'm That's all I have. Joel literally put the beat down. Breast milk, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> you can get another running back. Destroy. Hey, Kyle, how you doing this in fantasy? Oh, and two. That's all right. It's, it's the beginning of the season. You guys want to see what the? Uh, Let's see what the lineup is. Playoffs are looking like. How many actual games do we have? Before playoffs. I have no idea. Let me, see. Let me check the schedule. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's ten. Like 14 11, weeks. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so 13, 13. weeks. So 14, because there's six, there's going to be six teams yeah. that make it. So you. right now, currently, Brett and uh, Tim currently have bye, bye weeks for the for the playoffs. And I think... I'm not dealing with it right now, dude. Right, Holy wait, fuck. Let this guy... Let him, let him fucking enjoy his life while he can right now. You will not... I will literally kill you before you kill me. Okay, so this is what the projected playoffs <coughs> is. Bless you. So, actually, no. It's Connor and Tim get the bye. You would be playing uh, Brett Bollier, and then Joel will be playing uh, Brendan Cassidy. So, basically, just uh, me, Volkman. Will be out. Yeah, we'll be playing the Constellation. Was that no, we'd, for? We'd be playing the clock. Okay, so it'd be <laughs> it would be me against uh, John and then me, uh, Gavin against you, Kyle. You just play for like I don't know, like <laughs> fourth or fifth place. You know what I mean? I don't know, probably like just seventh, the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So how is okay? That's what it is right now. Obviously, it's only yeah, like yeah, yeah. week two. Yeah. So that's what the the standings are looking like. Problem is, my all my players on my bench are hurt. Three of them. And that means, like, the three bye weeks whatever for bye weeks is going to be to- so bad for me because I have so many people on byes the same weeks. <laughs> so it's not going to be good. Yep, Matt Ryan. What's week four looking like? Week five? I don't have any bye weeks until, like, probably week six or seven. Were you able to see the, the trade with uh, me and Brennan? Or no, because I already declined I it. Go, I can go. I'd, I'd have to go league. <laughs> Recent activity. Harry Potato Cut added Jared McKinnon from free agency. I might just pick somebody up. I wonder if there's running back that's projected more than D. Swift. Yeah, with Jared McKinnon was. Miles mm, Gaskin was a good pickup. Uh, he picked uh, uh, Brennan Cassie picked him up. 
drop Daryl Henderson. Yeah. It would have been good if he was actually a starter. Epstein and I would added. Oh, I added Deontay Johnson a while ago. Let's go to players. Okay, fuck off. Add players. Let's go see what they got for there. Darius Slayton, receivers, eh. Tariq Cohen. Malcolm Brown. Zach Moss, carry on. There's like not really much to go off of. No. Well, hopefully my team can pull it out. I'm pretty sure to lose, but you never know. Yeah, projections are bullshit at this point. Yeah, they are pretty uh, what is it? buns. Who's Baltimore play this week? Baltimore plays um, Kansas City. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Why? Lamar Jackson needs to do bad. I don't think he will do bad. He's Lamar Jackson. Well, I hope he does bad. I'm facing him. I'm coming for you, Gavin. I don't think Gavin listens to this podcast. Uh, okay. So you're playing, Who cares? You're playing Ga- oh, you'll beat. There's no way you will. No, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Bro, I'm projected to lose. You're not going to lose to Gavin. Dude, if I had he's, a good running he, back, he, dude. He's going to get at least 20 probably this week against Detroit. DeAndre Swift, I don't know because it's like that running back committee it's on is and off. horrible. Zeke is good. He'll probably get 20. He'll probably get a lot because he's playing uh, Detroit. Travis Kelsey's good. McLaurin's really good. I'm going to drop my defense, dude. Vikings blow, defense blows this year. <laughs> it's so bad for no reason. Yeah, I don't even know how you picked up Le'Veon Bell. Cortland Sutton. Yeah. Just they, are they, is Cortland Sutton done for the rest of the year? Is he not done for the rest of the year though? Yeah, he is. I would, this season. I would look it up. If he if he yeah. is, drop yeah. him. There's no point. It's not. It's a keeper and league. But you're oh, yeah. you're literally gonna keep. Debon Samuel. Debo whatever. Debo Samuel. He's out too. I don't understand. Listen, people I would have you probably keep for the keeper league is Elliott and Hopkins. Yeah. Uh, I don't know Kyle Murray. I yeah, no, you can get a QB anywhere really. I'm telling you right now. Look at that. I, I was number one in the league this week for points. It was absolutely clobbered. Check the current matchup. But look at it. Yeah, by four fucking points, dude. Oh, he's he's projected lower than me right now, then. Oh, you're projected to beat him now. Yeah. Why is that? So he has Lamar, Miles, Jonathan Taylor, DJ Track, AJ Green, Dallas Goddard, David Johnson, and 49ers D. David Johnson's literally going to do nothing against Pittsburgh's defense. Yeah, I remember uh, when uh, Gavin tried trading me him. Yeah. That was terrible. I mean, they're bad. And he's like, yo, 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 just train right away. One week, he plays good. The advantage you have is running back, wide receiver, wide receiver, tight end. His flex is better. So it tells you what he's put as better as. It's funny. It's funny that it tells you who's better and who's not. He's Michael Thomas, dude. If he had, he would have Thomas and Chark right now, but like Michael Thomas is literally fucking dead. A, a, yeah, what is he? yeah, but I thought it wasn't bad, though. He's a, no, I think it's it's. It's like kind of like yeah, yeah. It's like four. Is it like what four to six weeks for Thomas? Okay. Okay, so I missed. Yeah, be back in like two weeks. But three leagues to worry about. You got a lot going on for me. Um, Who's playing Thursday night? Miami and Jacksonville. Oh my god, who who would like? I don't understand how they did that. So far for the first three, like first two weeks, horrible Thursday night games. But I got James Robinson playing, so. Yeah. I love it, man. I love those rookies. I love it. Especially in a dynasty, it's different. Like, we're not doing dynasties. So rookies are useless. Yeah. I wouldn't be... I don't not, like dynasty. I don't know you, why. If you guys would want to do a dynasty next year, it would be better. I think I won't do it. I don't think I won't do it. I don't think I'm going to do it next year. We, I don't like fantasy. We're literally really. doing a small dynasty next year. It's basically just a really small dynasty. You get to keep two people. Yeah. I'm probably going to keep... Honestly... I don't think I'm going to keep Barkley. Don't keep anybody. I told you, Barkley has a terrible line. You yeah, know, but he's you're, such you're a, like, you're like, yeah, I dropped him. He's fucking hurt. You see what he fucking tore? ACL. You think it's going to be the same Barkley the same year he comes back? You think it's going to be the same person next year, dude? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll drop him. I'm going to keep. I don't even think. I don't know who I'm going to keep now. So, Kyle, who are you facing this week? Uh, oh, man. You're going to be on three. I'd beat Connor, so you never know. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna veto everything. You wanna treat you me a good running back? back? Yeah. I'll give you something. Yeah, something. <laughs> Literally, everybody's bench. There's nothing to give away. Yeah, my bench is terrible. You have to give up something from your starting lineup, like hardcore. Look, they're all hurt. I have three of them hurt. 
Sutton, uh, Debo Sanders, and Debo Samuel. Samuel Sanders, whatever you want to fucking call him. Very different people. Whatever. Is it Debo Sanders? Samuel. I know, but he said it's com- two completely different people. Debo Samuel, Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah, I know. Bro, why do you say it? What do you keep saying it as? What? What do you keep saying his name as? Debo Samuel? Yeah, Debo, Debo Sanders. Debo Samuels. Not Who the Debo. fuck is it? He's not hurt. De- not Debo. Debo not, Whatever. Not. Debo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Debo. Dude, Debo not, Samuel. Not Debo Samuels. I, did, I just said that, Debo Samuel. Yeah, there you go. You go Honestly, right. I have like a pretty decent receiving core. I have Hill, Allen, and DK Metcalf. You want DK? No. I will take DK. All right, let's see. I'm not, I don't have anybody to trade you. You want D Swift? Teams offering, you know. You want D Swift? No, I don't. <laughs> You don't need receivers, Kyle. You have OBJ and fucking the other guy. Just let you know we're at the 42-minute mark. Jesus Christ. I feel like we have a lot of dead air, this fucking thing. No, we really didn't. Um, Maybe the cricket uh, part, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> actually, the cricket's been quiet. Yeah, he He's been, been quiet. Jiminy has been really fucking quiet. Listen, man, I'll give you... I'll give you... I don't want anyone to be a team. No. <laughs> My starting lineup's solid. Your bench is... It's just my bench is just like a hot garbage fire. Diarrhea, yeah. It's just... The only bad person on my team right now is D. Swift. My starting lineup. And maybe Vikings defense. My tight ends are solid right now. I don't even know. Oh, if I kept... Oh, Barkley is just weird. I can't believe Barkley. You need a tight end? No, I have fucking George Kittle. What oh, the fuck? Yeah. Well, isn't Gord- He's hurt. He's questionable. He's still going to project. He's still projected at 14. He's going to get hurt. I have Noah Fant. I'm good. Okay. Noah Fant's good. Kyle, you want a tight end? Henry. For what? We'll do a one for one. What do you want? Who do you have? Henry for who? Who do you want on my team? I don't know who's on your team. My roster. All right, I got you. I'll look at my roster. What do you need position-wise? I need a running back. <laughs> I hate the fact. I fucking hate... I I'd go for a Laird. No, Mixon's fucking garbage. Oh, yeah, he's such it. a good running back. He's just, he's just, oh, oh, his offensive line is doo doo. Yeah, I know. That's really that's. No. You want to keep on going? No, I'm in the podcast here if you want. No, I was going to say. All right, guys. have something to talk about. No, I really got nothing to talk about. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, to find our audio. The the audio comes out the day before the video does. Can you fuck off? That's playing outro music. It's not an outro music. <laughs> it's not outro Our outro music is a fucking vibe. This is literally yeah. fucking, this is like the sound that I make when I go to the bathroom. You done? This is classical music. Are you done? Yeah, that's what I that's what I play when I have diarrhea. Okay, so thank you guys. Sorry for the, the disruption of um, Anne Frank over here, who will not <laughs> stop shutting up. That's why she probably died. Um, okay, okay, all right, all, all right. right, dude. Jesus, what are you doing? We saving no, that for the, you saving it for we close out. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, also on Twitter. Instagram is butter that bread underscore podcast. The Twitter is podcast butter. Um, if we're going to wrap it up here with a tune that may bring you some joy on this Friday, uh, Tom hit it. Oh yeah. (laughs) This is, this is the song you play when you want to get a girl pregnant in your dorm room. Yep. John, we're talking to you. Mrs. 30 minutes or less. Yeah. Get that chick pregnant. Here we go. She wants to get pregnant, yeah. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching the podcast this week and listening. This was... Bubba 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 Podcast.